morning. So welcome to a very wet um, vlog this time. We are here in Carvedeskral, which is about 20 kilometers from Hermanus, and there's already a massive river flooded over here. I think the river should be behind those reeds over there, but it's all the way up until this uh, road. But yeah, today we are going to explore. We're heading up to Strasby, Jared and I, Jared's over there. We're heading up to Strasby, and then we're gonna go see how badly it was flooded there, what damage is done and stuff like that and just explore a bit and see what's left or what's washed away and what's left. I'm busy taking my shoes off over here because there is a big water crossing in front of us. We so the car's right here, I took my shoes off and then I found this little guy right in front of the car. Look at this. I think he's alive. Well you can't sail anywhere because there's water everywhere. Oh yeah, there goes his tongue. That's so cool. Go little guy! You made it! Hi! Okay, well, I was gonna walk through and to check the depth, but apparently that's not needed because our Hyundai i20 and a Toyota Corolla just drove straight through it. So, okay, the snake got my attention anyway, got to see the snake, but now we're just gonna go straight through the water. Because if a Hyundai can do it, I can do it, I guess. There's another snake and I stood like right there. So I I don't think I stood on him, but he almost stood on me. That was a bit too close. Bye little guy. Whee! Look, third one for the day. This guy's uh, fairly bigger. Look. Oh, I know, sorry. Oh, 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 I wouldn't bother you, sorry. Oh, look at that, hey, there you go. You're a big guy. We've seen tortoises we've seen these snakes as well and it's probably the what you call it the water pushing them out of the like habitats and into the road so as like the snake was literally right there and here we have this is a snapping turtle After our little David Attenborough moment, we carried on exploring. We made a stop at the southernmost point of Africa, followed by some dinner in Algalis, and then we headed to the Strays Boy caravan and camping grounds. Finished exploring Strays Boy and things like that. Strays Boy is not that badly flooded anymore, at least. The caravan park owner told us like this whole place was underwater yesterday still, but now it is dried up. Even the ground is pretty dry, um, so it washed away pretty quickly. The water, everything went into the ocean. But yeah, uh, Strays Boy doesn't look as bad, but the surrounding areas and the gravel roads are extremely flooded. You just see water everywhere, as you can see in the footage. But yeah, we did arrive here in daytime. By the way, we just went taking some more um, like midnight pictures or oh, well, not midnight it's eight o'clock but some um what do you call it long exposure pictures that's what we're looking for um so yeah we just arrived we're setting our camp up and then we're gonna sleep and then tomorrow we're trying to get different routes to see if we can find some more flooding and flood damage over there welcome to my garage so we arrived back we after the campsite we headed back around 
Bredasdorp, Caledon, and then Gerbo through around that area. But ugh, the roads were wet, nothing serious. I think it was Bredasdorp, which had one road, which you could see like the tarmac was washed away. But other than that, it's all subsided the water. It's still water everywhere you see, but not as bad as the pictures were. But yeah, tent busy drying out over here. Uh, it got it actually rained that night. Uh, but yeah, nothing exciting the next day, so I didn't film much there. But I hope you guys enjoyed some of the water on the previous day, like all the flooding on the gravel roads and stuff like that. But other than that, I'll wait for the next storm. Go explore that one. Until then, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys like this video, hit like, subscribe, and then see you in the next one. Cheers! Yeah.